Today we're going to be going over the Jordan releases set to drop this month in February. There's definitely a couple kicks on my hit list this month and I'm excited to give you guys my thoughts and opinions along the way. And if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. So like typical fashion, if you're new to the channel, what we like to do at the beginning of every month is go over what the releases are for the month and then talk about what I think about the styles, cuts, materials, the release, the rarity, the resale, all those different things. And if I plan on copying the shoe or not. So with all that being said, let's get started with sneaker number one. And it actually came out yesterday, but that's the Air Jordan 6 Low Lunar New Year. I personally love Air Jordan 6s. And when I saw this sneaker surface on the internet, I was like, low key, I need to get these in my collection. And then I saw the retail. 200 bucks Eh, maybe not i think the retail price point on that is kind of what drew me back away from it and i didn't even pay attention to when it came out and then i looked and i was like oh damn they came out yesterday so i looked online they're sold out they only have like size 17 and 18 available so if you did get the shoe let me know what you think about it down below in the comment section but for me i'm gonna just say it was a pass next up on february 8th and 9th we have a bunch of different lows and mids dropping so i'm gonna rattle these off real quick and i'll see what you guys think down below in the comment section you got the fly ease mid cardinal red the air jordan one mid red toe a grade school Air Jordan 1 mid in the atmosphere colorway, a Air Jordan 1 mid SE in the light iron ore colorway, and then you have a retro Air Jordan 1 low and an Air Jordan 1 mid in the diamond colorways as well. So that's six different Air Jordan 1s when it comes to mids and highs and fly ease and everything like that. Me personally, I'm going to pass on each and every one of them, but I'm not mad at the colorways. Let me know if you plan on going after any of those down below in the comment section. Now let's take it to the next shoe. On February 11th, we have the Air Jordan 5 low Arctic Orange. This is a sneaker that I spoke about in the past and I still feel the same way about it now. It's just not really my cup of tea and that's completely fine. Everybody gets to love what they love and buy what they buy. And I heard a lot of people say that they really do like this shoe. So I'm definitely excited to see all the people pick up the sneaker that's looking forward to it. But I would say right now, don't look forward to me making a review because I don't even plan on picking them up. Following that release on February 12th, we have the Air Jordan 5 Racer Blue. I've heard a lot of people talking about this recently, a lot of chit chat here and there, but I don't see no crazy demand for the sneaker. But no matter what, at the end of the day, it's still Air Jordan 5. I don't think this is going to be too hard of a cop if you put your effort in. And if you enter in one too many raffles, you might end up catching two or three dubs. Some people may be happy about that and some people may not want to pay to have that many pairs for retail because they're not really hitting like that and all those different things. So I don't know. It's up to you guys. Let me know how you feel about it. But either way, I love Royal Blue on the Air Jordan 5 and I definitely look forward to making a review with this sneaker for you guys. Also, if you guys need any additional information when it comes to style, call numbers, release dates, retail prices, all those different things, I'll make sure I have everything listed for you guys in order down below in the description so you can get more details on each shoe next up we have the air jordan 12 playoff now we know this was supposed to be one of the best releases of this month and everybody's been talking about it and unfortunately we've been hearing a lot of news that they got pushed back so what exactly does that mean as of right now the shoe isn't supposed to come out this month anymore we were expecting to see it drop around all-star weekend with the anniversary of it originally releasing an all-star weekend in cleveland years ago and then coming back again so to see the sneaker get pushed back is kind of tough because obviously we all love this colorway and it's very classic and iconic and all those other things but it would have been a dope drop to see it released on all-star weekend again and yes whenever that sneaker does come out you already know i got a review coming for y'all next up on the list we have a sneaker that i think got pushed back a couple times but i don't even remember i've been seeing all these pushbacks and all this stuff over the months over the past year or two at this point i kind of don't really pay attention to it but i got to at the same time for y'all and everything but we have the air jordan one marina blue these are set to release on february 16th i know there's a lot of anticipation for the shoe and I see a lot of people hyping it up recently over the past month. And with the crazy demand behind the Air Jordan 1 alone, we can definitely tell that everybody's going to want to get their hands on it, even if they like the shoe or not. But similar to the Air Jordan 5 Racer Blue, it's my school color. So typically when I see a shoe like that, and I know it's kind of got the alma mater vibes, I end up liking it. And it's nice to get a little twist because we always see a lot of red, black, and whites when it comes to Air Jordan. Next up on the list for February 18th, we have a shoe that I feel like is kind of flying under the radar, yet every time I hear somebody talk about it, they say they like it. So I'm definitely interested to see what this shoe looks like in person and that is the air jordan 3 cardinal it's not the fire red it's not the katrina it's got blocking kind of like a true blue there's a lot of different mixtures when it comes to this sneaker but at the same time it's got its own little character and this is definitely a shoe i look forward to seeing in hand and hopefully add into my collection let me know what you think about the cardinal threes down below in the comment section and if you plan on going after them let's take it to the next shoe the air jordan 1 high og brotherhood is set to release on february 23rd i haven't seen too much buzz around it but at the same time
them, just like I said before, it's a Jordan 1, and I think when the shoe comes out and people see it in hand, they're gonna really appreciate it, and at the end of the day, that's always what happens when it comes to Jordan 1s at this point. But when I saw the images online surface of the shoe, it looked like the quality of the materials actually were a little bit nicer than we typically see, but we shall see once we get the shoe in hand, and this is definitely a sneaker I plan on adding to my collection. I call them the Lakers ones, but I know they kind of got like a different type of vibe to them when it comes to the coloring, but it is what it is. Again, we'll see when we get them in hand. And just so you guys have an understanding now, the Marina Blue and the Brotherhood ones, they're nice, they're cool and all, but don't get me wrong, they're not even close to top 20 Air Jordan 1 colorways of all time, so I'm gonna just put that out there now. They're solid, I would like to add them to my collection, but I'm not gassed up about them like that. Now onto the final sneaker for February 27th, we have the Air Jordan 1 Low OG. Chinese New Year. When I originally saw renderings of this shoe, I was like, eh, I don't know, they are all right, you know what I'm saying? And then I saw some detailed shots of the sneaker, and I saw the materials and the pattern and everything like that, and I was like, low key? This is kind of cool. Like, I'm not mad at these at all. Again, not crazy gassed up about them, but I really like the shoe and I would like to have it in my collection. As y'all know, I missed out on the previous Chinese New Year with the bread vibe and the satin and everything like that. I still want to have that shoe in my collection. It would be dope to get both of them and have both of them in my collection. But again, it is what it is. We shall see what happens when the time comes. So for now, I'm going to give them a solid 7 out of 10. My opinion might change once I get them in hand. It might go up, it might go down. I don't know. We'll see. So I hope you guys appreciate this video and I look forward to making more at the beginning of every month giving you guys updates thoughts and opinions when it comes to all these different sneakers coming out each and every month and hopefully giving you guys reviews as well once they drop and with all that being said I got to go I posted a poll on my community tab y'all said make this video so I made the video we here we did it I gotta go to sleep y'all I'm out <laughs> Yo, if you enjoyed this video and wanna grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry, if you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside.